In this episode, we're going to talk about all the retouching equipment. Hi guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. My name is Manny and in this episode I'm going to show you guys all the retouching equipment that we use at Retouch Pro and for our Pro tutorial. Okay, I'm not going to talk too much about all the technical details here and the features. Please have a look in the description down below. You guys can find all the links to these products down below. Then as well, you guys, if you have any questions, you can post them down below in the comment box or find me again on Facebook at Retard Pro. Okay, great. So let's get right into it. As you guys can see here on the right hand side, again, an iMac 21 inch. This is our workhorse. We do almost all our work on this machine. Again, bought in beginning of 2014. So this is pretty much a brand new machine as well and has good power. I don't even want to go deeper into that. You guys can have read all the specs again on that link. Then also down here we have a Wacom Intuos uh, 4 retouching tablet. Again, this is the older version. A medium tablet. We use this still for our assistance to retouch in the studio. Then as well, it comes again with a small pen holder and a few extra nibs as you guys can see here and includes also a retouching pen. Now, also this retouching tablet here is not Wi-Fi or basically not wireless. So you need again another cable. So for that we've got again a USB with also a mini USB that connects directly to your Mac or PC, whatever you have. Then over here we have again a newer version of Wacom retouching tablets. So basically this is a TUS 5 Pro tablet, again a medium version, which I use quite a lot to retouch. So again, medium with the hot press express keys here. And this one goes wireless. Mostly when I work on the Mac with it, I also use a cable. But if you go outside and also shoot tethered or do something quickly on productions, we use this little dongle over here connect that to your Mac and this guy works wireless it's amazing I can just recommend this equipment then also let's also talk here about just the software I've just placed a little sticker here on the table basically the software that we use mainly is Photoshop and Lightroom these two are our workhorses but then also we use a variety of different plugins again for Photoshop some of them also for Lightroom basically we start again with uh, alien skin exposure 4 and 5 these we use all the time then as well also so light a uh, Nick software complete collection, red giant knoll light factory, to pass plugin bundle and as well virtual rig. So these we use like almost 80% of our time to retouch stuff and to work with. Also here at the top again we have another USB extension cable, great for shooting tethered but otherwise we just use this as a normal backup cable in case we need more USB cables. It's around 2 meters long so that's why it's so nice to keep it as a backup. Then down here on your left hand side, again as you guys can see, also the Intinuous 5 Pro retouching tablet comes again with a pen and also a pen holder. Then also down here we have again another backup Lacey hard drive, which we then when we start retouching, we're done, we back up all our work on that Lacey hard drive. It's again two terabyte. Then that two terabyte gets also backed up again in studio here on a Western digital hard drive. Again, as you guys can see, another five terabyte. So you put that again onto that. Then also over here, we have an AirPort Extreme, which we use just in studio, just internally to share files around from Mac to Mac and to other users. So we really quickly have a system to exchange files and don't need to carry too much USBs. As you guys can see over here, we have a few USBs, which we basically use to copy smaller stuff or quick stuff. Always important to carry that stuff around. Then normally when we go on shoots, we take the MacBook Pro with, this is again a 17 inch MacBook Pro, which we use again just to shooting on location either tethered as well or again if we want yeah just in studio do some work with this normally when we're on shootings we back up all our files directly when we add a photo shoot so we back up all our files to this little 500 gigs lacy hard drive this comes without a power cable so this is powered by the computer so this is nice and handy quick and easy to use instead of the other one which needs again external power so we haven't placed the cable cord here on the table but that will need power as well also over here again the charger just for the macbook pro so that we also carry around with us and keep 
keep in studio if we need to charge again. Yeah, so that's basically all about the retouching gear that we use about 90% in the studio. If you guys want to see some more Photoshop tutorials now, please head over here to your left side and you can check out some more Photoshop tutorials on the channel. On your right hand side, you guys can check also out some more gear from cameras and camera bodies, lenses, stands, strobes, all of that fancy stuff. At the top, you guys can subscribe right away to this channel to see some more videos every week. At the bottom, you guys can also find the links in the description down below, or if you want, also our website link at retardpro.com. Yeah, so thanks you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this episode, share it with your buddies that don't know about this stuff, and as well, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.